The XQ-58 Valkyrie, developed by Kratos Defense, represents a major step forward in the evolution of uncrewed combat aviation. Its design centers on a low-cost, stealth-optimized airframe that can be rapidly produced, easily deployed, and modified to serve a wide range of missions. From its inception, the Valkyrie has been positioned as a versatile platform capable of supporting manned-unmanned teaming, electronic warfare, surveillance, strike support, and autonomous operations. After years of development, demonstration, and limited operational testing, the program has reached a turning point with the U.S. Marine Corps formally committing to adopt it under a full program of record. This means that the Valkyrie is no longer just a prototype or experimental platform, it is now slated for operational use in military units. The core appeal of the Valkyrie lies in its adaptability and affordability. It is part of a broader class of systems often referred to as a treatable aircraft. These are uncrewed systems designed to be cost-effective enough that they can be deployed in large numbers, take risks that would be unacceptable for manned platforms, and still deliver mission-critical capabilities. Unlike traditional drones that are often slow, expensive to operate, and vulnerable to modern air defenses, the Valkyrie was engineered for survivability, speed, and flexibility. It uses stealthy shaping to reduce radar visibility, and its internal weapons bay allows it to carry sensors, payloads, or munitions without compromising its low observable profile. Originally, the Valkyrie launched using ground-based catapults and was recovered via parachute. However, Kratos has since developed several additional configurations to improve its utility. A runway-independent model can still be launched without a prepared airstrip, which is valuable for operations in austere or rapidly changing locations. Another configuration includes conventional landing gear for traditional takeoff and landing, expanding its compatibility with fixed facilities. Hybrid designs that combine both capabilities have also been introduced. These changes reflect direct input from military testing and operational feedback, particularly from the Marine Corps, which is preparing to field multiple versions for different operational environments. The Marine Corps has been particularly interested in using the Valkyrie to support its shift toward more dispersed, expeditionary operations. Modern operational concepts emphasize the ability to move forces rapidly, operate from remote or improvised bases, and minimize reliance on large infrastructure. The Valkyrie supports this vision by offering a long-range, self-deploying platform that can be equipped with advanced mission systems, operate with minimal ground support, and be integrated into a distributed network of sensors and shooters. The service has also tested the drone in electronic warfare scenarios and confirmed its ability to work as part of a networked force, supporting other platforms including advanced fighters. Internally, the Valkyrie can carry payloads such as communication relays, decoys, or smaller drones, launched from its bay during flight. This modularity is a key advantage, enabling the same airframe to be tailored to different missions simply by changing the onboard systems. Underwing hardpoints have also been added to some variants, providing additional payload capacity at the expense of stealth. While exact mission loadouts are not publicly detailed, this multi-mission capacity makes the Valkyrie a strong candidate for roles ranging from electronic jamming to surveillance or decoy operations. The commitment by the Marine Corps to transition the Valkyrie into a program of record prompted Kratos to begin scaling. Up production, the company has already produced 24 aircraft, and now plans to build at least 24 or more in a second production run. These aircraft will be spread across multiple configurations to meet varied mission requirements and customer demands. Kratos has engaged its established supplier network to support the larger production effort, aiming to capitalize on manufacturing efficiencies and reduce the time needed to deliver each unit. Beyond the U.S. Marine Corps, Kratos is collaborating with Airbus to develop a European version of the Valkyrie. While technical details remain limited, the focus of this version is on platform agnostic system architecture which means it can be adapted to use different mission systems depending on the customer. This reflects a growing interest among European nations in acquiring uncrewed aircraft that can integrate into existing command and control networks, follow NATO standards, and support various national requirements. Delivery of this European variant is expected before the end of the decade, and Kratos anticipates that the market could expand to include several additional countries once a baseline version is finalized and demonstrated. Kratos also reports that two additional customers are actively considering Valkyrie variants tailored to their needs. These potential deals, still in early stages, could further increase production numbers and push forward additional design variants. The company has not publicly identified the customers or specific configurations under consideration, 
but it has stated that it believes it is in a favorable position to win both contracts. This reflects growing confidence among defense users in the system's performance and adaptability. The XQ-58 program is part of a larger strategic shift in military aviation. As air forces around the world face rising costs, increasing threats, and more complex operational environments, there is growing demand for uncrewed systems that can reduce risk to personnel, increase mission tempo, and deliver high-impact capabilities at lower cost. The Valkyrie is not designed to replace crewed aircraft entirely, but to complement them, flying ahead of or alongside fighters, absorbing threats, extending sensor range, or even acting as communication nodes. Its role in collaborative operations with manned aircraft has already been demonstrated in tests involving fifth-generation fighters. Although Kratos was not selected in the first tranche of the U.S. Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, competition, the company is still interested in participating in future rounds. The Air Force may adjust its approach in future competitions to favor more affordable and rapidly fieldable platforms, as opposed to high-end, complex systems that require longer development timelines. If that occurs, Kratos' experience building and flying real aircraft, not just conceptual designs, could position it strongly in future selection rounds. Kratos has repeatedly emphasized that everything it has shared about the Valkyrie is based on real hardware, real flight tests, and real results. The company distinguishes itself from competitors by prioritizing systems that are already proven in the field rather than theoretical. The XQ-58 has flown in various environments, operated alongside manned aircraft, executed payload delivery tests, and completed missions for both services currently using it. This track record forms the basis for the company's continued investment in expanding the Valkyrie family, including new mission capabilities and regional variants. With the production line now expanding, new customers in negotiation, and operational service approaching for the Marine Corps, the Valkyrie is transitioning from an experimental project into a maturing, multi-role capability. Its development reflects a broader trend in defense planning, systems that are versatile, affordable, and rapidly adaptable are increasingly prioritized over large, slow-moving programs. The XQ-58 has become a practical example of how these priorities can be realized in the real world, and its evolution is likely to influence future uncrewed aircraft programs both in the US and abroad.